Happy Friday everybody and welcome back to another episode of the HO Scale Layout Build Series. Hopefully you did enjoy the GP40-2 running on the layout with one of my box cars. Once I do have things wired up completely, I will do more switching footage. Alright, so one of the things I'm starting out with is this sidewalk and curb that I made for the spot here. I think adding this completes the area a little bit more better. Before we do get into the crossing flashers, I do want to get into the foundation and all that first. This is the material I use for the sidewalks. All I'll need is a straight edge and my hobby knife for this. First thing first is I must mark down where the sidewalk will go. The width will be about 7 eighths of an inch. And this episode we don't actually go over the tracks with the sidewalks because going over the three tracks is going to be a little tough. Once that is done, I can now measure and cut the piece of hobby wood to size. And not to worry, the table is essentially a big cutting mat for me. Now we have our first piece cut to size, and now we could cut the long way of this big piece. Here I'm actually marking down the lines every inch to represent the grooves in the sidewalks. I then use the back of the blade to score those lines in. Just be sure to be a little gentle. Sidewalk is done and now onto the paints. I'll be mixing country gray with this regular white to get a nice light color. The reason for this is because the sidewalks in real life tend to be a very light gray in comparison to the actual roads. Once the cap is on, I can shake the bottle like a madman. Before we do paint, I will be gluing it down with some tacky glue. You do want to make sure to get the entire surface because it will bow up if you don't. You can avoid bowing completely if you do treat the wood beforehand. Then we paint. I also paint that sidewalk and curb as well. I also use the same paint to paint the gutters, which is always the same color as the curb and the sidewalk. Now those sections are good to go. This area is complete for now, so I will weigh it down till tomorrow. I'll be adding some dirt as ground cover to get a solid, realistic foundation for all the little accessories we will add. This time around, I don't show it to avoid any repetition in these videos. If you do have any questions on how I do my dirt, do ask away in the comments. It is now the next day and everything is dry and in place. You can see a slight ring where the mug was, but this will be grassy soon, so it's not a big deal. This piece is looking good as well, I just need to clean it up, and I also need to add those grooves too. We can now move on to the crossing flashers where we do reach our main problem. The main problem is that the lights and hub set here that you're looking at is not at all compatible with the Scene Master's crossing flashers. Big oof on my part. It's not that this won't be used, because it will actually be used in the future when I actually put the street lights in, which hopefully will be next week. Either way, I still will install them, I just won't have them working yet. Here they are out of the box, and as you can see, they will need to be wired with the correct controller. Either way, I do like the way they look, although I do wish they did have the crossing guards that went down. Thank you. 
Here is the actual hub itself, and it does also include two separate easy plug lights to use as you want. Pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is the moment I knew I messed up. These are the ones that are compatible with the actual hub. Now we drill a couple holes where the crossing flashers will go. Then I lightly twist the ends together and I pull the wires through the bottom. So both of them are actually installed now, but I'm not actually going to glue it down or put dirt around it, and that's simply because they're not wired yet. They do look amazing, and they add such a great deal of realism to the layout. Can't wait to see them actually light up. The last few scenes I'm just doing some touch-ups, since things got a little messed up when I glued it all down. That's why I made a good amount of this shade of grey. So we are coming to the end of the video. It is sad that we weren't able to get the crossing flashers running, which was kind of my main goal for this episode, but not everything could be perfect and that's just how this hobby goes sometimes. It is a good learning experience and next time I do buy things online, I will double check what I'm actually buying. In the end, it's not actually a big deal because I can just go buy that controller and then pretty soon we'll have them up and running. So as always, if you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And on that note, I will see you guys in next week's episode.